Psalms chapter 30. A song and song at the dedication of the house of David. So this one is dated. When David builds his house. I will extol thee, its praise and magnify, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes rejoice over me. David's got a home now, he's king, he's, he's in rulership with the nation, he, he's, uh, he loves the Lord and gives the Lord the credit. Later on he's going he's gonna to say, hey, you know, I live in this, this house of cedars, I live in majesty and all that, and looks down at the Lord and says, no, you dwell down there in that tent. Something's wrong here. O oh Lord my God, starts off a great hymn, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. God heals. God healed the Old Testament. God heals after the apostles. Not like how some people would want a show in, in a pony cart, but God does heal. And when God does heal you, you to give him the praise, give him the honor, not the doctor, not the medicines. Too many Christians out here, well, I went to this doctor, I, you know, this doctor, that doctor, and that hospital is the best, and that's not what it is. You know, it's Asa, which is, gonna, which is a king that's going to come long later on in Judah. He gets disease in the feet, and he goes to the doctors. There's nothing wrong with that. Jesus said, they that are whole don't need a physician, but they that are sick. is Where do you put your alliance? Before you go to any doctor with any problem, you ought to pray to the Lord. You ought to seek the Lord. Because, listen, if you've got a spiritual problem in your, in your home or you, a doctor ain't going to fix it. No matter how much test he gives you. But give God the credit. Give God the credit when he don't heal you. Because it could be the worst. O oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Now David did not physically die, but there, there were plenty of times that he should have died. God gave him excessive life. Thou has, and it could be also, well, he says, thou hast, so that's past ten. But maybe David being the prophet to the fact is, maybe when he, where his body is today, God's going to raise it up. It could be also a faith statement that he will be before God one day. As Job spoke. Job said, I will, you know, something, though with my eyes I shall see the Lord. Thou hast kept me alive. So life is given of God, not not the EMTs. You know, they 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 put me on that heart mirror and they juiced me with that that thing and you know, stand back, clear, boom boom. Well, look at that. They kept they they, they made, no, God did. God gets the credit. That I should not go down to the pit. Pit, it's death. Grave. Doesn't say how. Sing unto the Lord. Well, this is a song. O ye saints of his, give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. You're to remember that God's holy. You're to give thanks. You're to, you're to encourage others. Those saints, notice, is read this as a Roman Catholic passage. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his. How does a dead man sing? Go to any of the graves of the popes, just to name a few, and then listen to them to sing. Go to the St. Nicholas tomb and listen to him sing. So right there should tell you something's wrong with, with, a, with a doctrine somewhere. Saints in the Bible are alive. Well, and David, the king, says, sing. And if David were to walk into the churches today and hear the song, they'd say, whoa, stop. Shut up. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. 
You want to thank God that he's holy. You know what? We I don't know when we're going to get off this probably when the Easter come. We ought to thank God we don't we don't celebrate a, a pagan festival as one that happened yesterday. That God is more holy than that. We don't bring in a dead tree that you pay seventy five or more dollars for and you're gonna throw it back out. You know, that's a waste of money. You ever think about it like that? You spend money to bring the tree in, and all you're gonna do is throw it out. You don't keep it all year long. And then you celebrate a guy that breaks in your house and gives you gifts and steals your cookies. That's not holy. And if you to read everything that's behind that character of Satan Claus, there is no holiness. And you can't say, oh, the little baby in the manger, because that didn't happen. The little Tamu's in the manger, maybe. That's not holiness. Nimrod and the worship thereof of Tamu's is not holy. Yep, but how many people celebrate it? For his anger endures but a moment. God gets angry. I wonder, how many, I wonder how much God got angry yesterday. All of his Christians celebrating Tammuz, the pagan holiday, in his name, of course. Well, how about if I get caught with with a woman that's not my wife in the, in the bed? And, well, I did it in the name of the Lord. We pray to God together, and then we had the, the adulterous act. Well, we can't call it adultery because we, we, we had God's blessing on it. Well, doesn't that sound so stupid? Why can you allow a pagan holiday and not allow the adulterous affair of a pastor? Why does it really bring up the pastor's, the adulterous thing of a pastor, but you don't bring up all the Christians in the adultery of uh, Christmas? You made God angry yesterday. And you're going to make God angry in Easter. But for a moment, in his favor is life. Again, your life is God. Well, I got problems, I got situations. It's of God, and God knows all about it. I would love for God to take care of this tooth pain I got, but I'm living for a reason, and i just been recently asked to do something more for him, and he'll take care of me. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. In the morning there is the Lord Jesus Christ coming, the second advent. For the Jew especially, when they get their Messiah in Jerusalem as king and they get all the land. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Well, God said that to him. Lord, by thy favor... Thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was I was troubled. All the mountaintops are God's. And then when God steps away in and, and, and trouble, why would God hide his face from thee? Because you're sinning. You're not doing what you're supposed to. But the eyes of the Lord have been in every place, beholding the evil and the good. <clears throat> you're not just to have the eyes of the Lord on you. You're to have his whole face, a countenance that's happy, that's joyful. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. Supplication is serious prayer. I cried unto thee, as talking to the Lord. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? What's Billy Sunday doing for the Lord today? What is uh, Bob Jones Sr. doing for the Lord today? And any saint who has passed on? Go down to the pit? That's death. That, that's, that's, see, that's where the Jehovah gets, gets hell and, and pit. That's where they put a dead body. Even if it is a tomb, it's a pit, it's a hole. A cave is a big hole. Just 
horizontal. Shall the dust praise thee? Oh, so David knows that he goes back to dust. David knows that we're made of dust. David believes God in Genesis 2. Where God took man and took a ball of dirt and made man from it. Shall it declare thy truth? No. Once you die in this earth, your body dies. The body dies. You're no more value to God. That's why you to get everything done that the Lord wants you to do now, because later on you can't. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Simple enough. Thou, God, has turned for me my morning into dancing. Nothing wrong with a good dance. If it's done correctly, if it's done according to the Bible, as you study it. But you give a little bit of the devil into it and it gets ruined and it gets sinful. Thou hast put off my sackcloth. That's mourning. That's a that's a sack. That's a, a real itchy kind of burlap bag that they put on when there's trouble and, and problems. Not something you want to be dressed in. And girded me with gladness, joyfulness, time. God will give you the bad times and God will give you the good times. But there'll be more bad times than there'll be good. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. Something wrong with somebody who says they're a Christian and can't sing before the Lord. And I'm not saying getting up before the whole church again. Listen, if you can't sing in your heart when you when you're just thinking about God and praising God. And then you got the other singing. You got Satan songs that you find on the radio in the jukebox, and people of the world will go to those that music to try to cheer them up. You got a battle versus good and versus evil. Whatever God has, Satan has. Oh Lord, my God, I will give. Thanks unto thee forever. I guess it's about time to close with the Christmas services and messages and hate literature that people call it. But, um, you know, we celebrated Christmas in Jesus yesterday. And who did the kids thank for all the presents? And when those kids just woke up with the bright eyes and saw the tree and all the prayer, you just instantly got down on your knees and thanked the Lord. I don't believe it. Now, maybe 1% of the population did. Most of you out there who I know, you did not. You think your wife was, was thanking you for that dress that he bought two or three sizes, too small or too big? As you're running around the mall, cram-packed, the people trying to return the junk that the people bought you? Were you thanking God? Are you going to thank God in a couple days when that bill comes in from the MasterCard, Visa, and American Express? Are you going to thank the Lord there? You're going to thank the Lord that hey, my Target card was given off to somebody else. Thank you, Lord. Say, so, Stella, what, what, what? Maybe God was saying, stop spending. I'll thank thee forever. That's the thing. Everybody on Facebook, <clears throat> for 31 days or 30 days in November, each day I'm thankful for nothing. You know, I don't see anybody posting anything they're thankful today. I did. Oh, I need one day of the year that America tells me to thank the Lord. 
forever. That that takes a. David's been talking about death. He's still talking about the grave. That forever jumps from the grave all the way to eternity. And it's all about Jesus Christ. We're not going to go to heaven to see Grandma. I'm sorry. Grandma's not the picture. We're not going to go to heaven for this great preacher, even though he may have been a great preacher. That's not the th case. Read verse 12 again. It says, To the end, that my glory may sing praise to thee, God, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. You know what we're going to be doing in heaven forever? Giving God the praise. That's what that verse over there says in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. At least any man boast. We're not going there to praise man. We're going there for Jesus Christ. And, and what he done on Calvary. What he done for 33 and a half years. We're going to raise him up for all eternity, forever. And forever, he's going to have the scars to remind us of his glory. You know, you've got Christians out there who, who are been deformed by third degree burns, and they'll never see those marks in eternity. There are Christians out there who are so marred and scarred from surgeries and and and, and uh, trials and tribulations. You may have a Jew that is saved today. I, I don't know how far it would be, but survived the Holocaust and have in his body the marks and and the of stories of the SS. When he gets to glory, he's going to look at his body like, where is it? There will be no pagan worship in heaven. There will be no, everything will be about God. Everything will be right. God's given us a chance today to be as close as we, listen, the Bible says that Jesus is our example. We're doing things in America today that we're spreading all around the world that Jesus never done. Now, we watched something yesterday, and was it right or wrong? And the, the program, the scripts are based upon people who sent in things that happened to them during the military service. So we go to a nation that's completely false God, such as Korea, and we bring them Santa Claus. Not in glory. There's no Santa Claus in glory. We sing praises of man, we sing praises to credit cards, we sing praises to GM, to to our great employer, we sing all kinds of praises to America. God bless America. Some singing praises to the health care that, that the president is bringing, some people are singing against the president of the United States, and it's all about Jesus. And if you were to step in 10 churches, if you were to be allowed on the property, and as each person, you make each person follow that church one at a time, and write down a clipboard, one word to describe their, what they feel, not the message, I mean just one word to ex express what they are, how they feel. What would you, how many times do you think people say they're thankful? Come on, after they just sat in the message for an hour, you think they're going to be thankful? How many people were thankful in Thanksgiving? There were a lot of people thankful. As big uh, uh, corporation leaders worked the thing and, and had their days off with their fatness, they made all their employees work on a certain day. But Bale's birthday, as we drove around yesterday to go down to the beach, it's funny how Thanksgiving people were open, but on Bale's birthday people were closed. Ah, 
Now we see where we come to, to America and Christianity. We'll work on the day we're supposed to give God thanks, but we won't work on Bale's birthday. Okay? So, now we know where we stand. And we close. Oh, Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great. And when I think that God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul.